Learning to show your horse is often more of a mental job than it is a physical job. You work at home on everything that your horse needs to do. You understand how to run your horse to get a nice stop. You understand how to, to, to get your horse into a spin. You understand your leads. And then you walk into a show pen and you completely forget everything you learned. So you need to control the mental part of the game and that is only controlled through years and years of showing to get it to the best best advantage. You need to block out all external things. Don't think about the crowd. Don't think about your husband at the in the stands. Don't think about your children running around. You need to have all that stuff under control before you walk in the pen so that all you have to think about is you and your horse. Because you have to remember that your horse is also uh, thinking about external things. He's thinking about his friend over at the trailer. He's thinking about, about the kids running around in the stands, everything else. So you need to be focused so that you can help your horse to focus on you and not think about all those external things. Uh, the other thing people just get all bogged up over is, is people watching them. I can guarantee you the people in the stands, if you're having a bad run, they ain't watching you. <laughs> They're talking to her friends, you know, because everybody's been there. Everybody's had a bad run, and it's like, well, eh, that's too bad. And then they think about something else. So really don't be concerned about anybody. The only people you need to be concerned about is you, your horse, your trainer, and a very little bit of the judge's opinion. The judge is going to give you his opinion. That's what you're paying him for with your entry fee. But what you have to be concerned about more than anything is your own your own thoughts and feelings about how your run went. Um, every time you walk into the show pen, I have a different uh, goal in mind on what I want to do with a particular horse. You know, sometimes the goal at the beginning of their show career, I'll go to schooling shows. I just want that horse to be really comfortable in that show pen. You have to teach your horse that the show pen is an okay place to be, which means when I start out showing them their first year, I'm not going to ask him for as much speed as I am on year five. Um, you know, your job is to get your horse to be a good show horse, and then they'll, they'll survive and, and be a good horse for you for 10 years or more. In the non-pro limited or the boxing class, where the boxing is the only thing you're judged on, you don't get to go down the fence. You need to be real sure that you keep that cow on that, that wall, boxing wall. Otherwise, you get a big three-point penalty every time it, it goes by. And this rider is holding back on her horse, not allowing that horse to get across and actually stop the cow. She just trailed along behind the cow, watches the cow go to the end. You need to get around your cow and bring it back a little quicker than this rider is. When boxing your cow, you need to get over and stop your cow and get your shoulder in front of that cow's nose. This rider ended up turning down the fence thereby allowing this cow to run down the fence. If she'd have got over there and got her horse's shoulder in a straight line into the sidewall and got her horse's shoulder in front of that cow's nose, that cow could not have got by her. But she did not get over there quick enough and this cow just, just went ahead and did what it wanted to. In that limited class, the non-pro limited class, you need to keep your position, you need to get across with your cow and stop them. She did a little better job there. She's still a little bit too far back for me. Now here she made a little bit better effort, but you can see she's still any facing, facing down the wall just like she was going to go down the fence. You cannot stop a cow off the box by, doing, by, by handling your horse that way. When they let the cow out of the gate, you need to be ready and get over in position. This rider, that cow came at him, so he got over in front of that cow and didn't let that cow come down the fence. Here he needs to make a big run, stop him. If he'd have done a better job stopping that cow a little bit smoother and prettier, if he'd have kept his shoulder toward that cow a little bit more than, than moving his horse's head, neck, and shoulders away from that cow. Then he goes back and he gets aggressive again. He needs to stay just a little bit closer to that cow and not let his horse fade off when there is not a need for it. You need to fade off when, when you need to, but you need to not fade off when that cow is not coming at you and there's no reason to. You need to hold your line and get tough. Now right there he got a lot tougher, held his line, made that cow, made that cow go away from you, him. 
the judge was able to blow his whistle and he was the end of the work. On this non-pro limited run, the rider is cautiously aggressive. She's wanting to move up as much as she can, but she's doing it in a cautious manner just in case that cow breaks and runs, she can go ahead and counteract it. Now she's got the cow to look at her a little bit, so then she's going to head and get in better position. Now she needs to step up a little more, which she does, and try and get that cow moving. If you're in that non-pro limited class, you're not going to make any points by just standing there waiting for your cow to move. It's your job to get up there and initiate that cow to be moving somewhere. Right here she can get across to that head a little bit more so that she can get that cow to turn back to her right. There she needs to get across and get that cow stopped again. And then you'll be, be impressing your judge a lot more than if you're just standing there waiting for your cow to move. This is the non-pro limited class again. The cow comes out, the rider needs to move up so that, that cow can, so that, that horse can relate to that cow. She needs to move a little closer. Now she gets in a little closer. She's keeping her position good. She's stopping when that cow does, making that horse get through that turn. Horse is a little weak coming back to the right. She's using her leg really good, getting that horse to come back a little bit faster to the right. You notice that she's keeping her shoulder across in front of that cow's nose so she's not allowing that cow the opportunity to start heading down that fence. So she's got real good position here. She knows how to stop a cow. In the boxing, you need to move up to your cow as quick as you can without being too aggressive on an aggressive cow. This rider here gets across, stays in position good, gets into the ground, has attractive look on on the horse's face. Horse wants to cow. Cow's not doing a whole lot. She could step up a little quicker. She gets a little more aggressive here, gets across, stops her cow. It's going to be a credit situation for a judge because that cow tested her a little bit and she went over here over and tried to stop it. The only more she can do is get a little bit closer right there. She's working a little closer and her cow's making a little bit more aggressive move. If you stay too far back from your cow, they're not going to turn. There again, she got across and stopped her cow. The judge decided that that was as much as he needed to see, so he blew the horse whistle. Her work was over in that non-pro limited class, and she's going to get a good score.